Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Virgos for the week starting June 20th, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at gigilitarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. And thank you for those who subscribed already. Welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you all for your likes, your shares, your comments, your private messages. It truly means a lot to me. And I also posted below the video where you can find me on social media as well. And now, my Virgos, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance, and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have in the past position this week. Oh yes, I wanted to mention that I'm going to do it differently this week just because my readings are a little bit late. I'm going to do past, present, and future and let me know how this resonates with you. So let's start with the past. The Ten of Swords. What is going on? Well, in a way, you know what? I like this card. I like it because it's the ending of a difficult period and it's also in the past position. Okay, so what we know so far is you have a lot of energy right now in your 10th house. Okay, you have the sun in your 10th house. Venus is now, uh, sorry, uh, not Venus. You have the sun in your 10th house. You have Mercury in your 10th house. So it's your ruler. Okay, so maybe some of you are now in some type of position of power and you're meeting a lot of obstacles. Okay, or you have met some type of obstacles. Um, because the 10 house is where all lies on you, okay? And you should feel comfortable because it's you share the same ruler with Gemini, but there's a lot of square going on around that, okay? Um, we have this full moon that's going to happen. I think it's the 20th, depending on where you are, 20th at night or 21st, okay? So there's a full moon that is squaring you. And when the moon is squaring you, it makes us feel a little bit more sensitive than we are. Okay, the full moon is in Sagittarius, and Sagittarius is the fourth sign away from you, so it's squaring you. Okay, and it's also uh, opposing the ten house. So you know you have a lot of energy in your ten house, the house of career, reputation. You share the same ruler, Mercury is there, but it's directly opposing the full moon and Saturn. So this is, you know, it's it, you have not enough, you know, flexibility, and I could, you could feel, you know, maybe exhausted. Maybe you have been involved in some type of um, arguments or some type of, you know, um, dispute where you felt that you're not able to get the cooperation that you need, okay? Or maybe you were not involved in any of that, and people are just have been with showing you some type of, you know, hostility. The people have been, you know, pushing you, you know, to, uh, to feel a certain way without you being able to defend yourself. But that is ending here, okay? The full moon will end this energy, okay? Very soon after the full moon, we'll have this another, you know, energy in, your, in cancer, which will help you, okay? I think it's actually will be early July, okay? And that's going to be something where you'll feel very, very different because it'll be in your third house, which is, you know, um, a house where you share the same ruler. But here, the Ten of Swords is to tell you that it's, it's ending, okay? Um, this hostility around you is over. And let's see what we have in the present position for you, my Virgos. The Four of Swords. So you're going inside to review everything, to reassess everything, because you know there's something going on. But you know what? Let me tell you something, Virgo. This energy is felt by everybody. There's a lot of uh, tra tragedy. Uh, I hope I say this word pro um, properly. Tragedy. Uh, in French, we say tragédie. Anyways, there's a lot of, you know, outgoing uh, negative energy around where people are acting out out of their character or people are acting out for whatever reason, okay? And we're much more uh, aware of how this world is actually, uh, you know, going a little bit 
left okay and who better than you the sixth house ruler to see that because Virgo is the healer Virgo is to me I always say that represent uh, justice much more than Libra okay Virgo is concerned about the world issues okay it's a it's it's a house of routine Virgo have this, you know, vision of the future. They're able to see what's ahead with what's going on right now. So that's what you'll be doing, okay? There's a lot of swords energy. So there's a lot of time spending in your in your head. And I think it's where you find refuge, refuge when things are not going um, as expected. It, it may not be affecting you, but it's, it's not about affecting you. It's just because of what it is going on has an effect on us. And because... Virgo is concerned about world worldly things it touches them on a deeper matter they have to stop and review everything they have to stop and learn understand you know it's not just about being afraid it's not about being strong it's about having an understanding and having your ruler in your 10th house currently in Gemini is forcing you to review you know what we need from from the world what we need from institution what we need from government is government's doing everything they could is government is is actually uh you know creating issues that's what we need from virgos because virgos are the one who are capable to change the world by their vision by having their understanding but this is what we have for you in the present position and let's see what we have in the future for you the fool so you're about to embark on something. There's something that, that is happening with you that's going to impact your future. Uh, you know, you may not start going in that position this week because the full indicate a new path in life, something new, okay, happening. It's a card number zero. And you can see he's turning his back at the four of swords. He's turning his back at everything else. He's going forward, okay, after some time pausing and, you know, reviewing what's going on as the only major arcana in this spread that, that comes to, to tell me that there will be something new where you could actually heal other people because Virgos, to me, again, are the healers of the Zodiac. You know, uh, they have this ability to heal people, okay? But sometimes, you know, again, sometimes the sixth house also... You know, it's a house of sickness and things like that. So depending how they manage the energy, just don't get, you know, I, I want you to have this routine, this healthy routine. Don't get all submerged in that energy where you're not able to focus on anything else, okay? So here, having the fool in this position, it tells us that you'll be going in the direction, but it's a general reading. I'm not sure what the direction is because I know different Virgos that are involved in different things in their life. Maybe it's your love life. Maybe I've been going through some type of things that doesn't make you happy and you want you, you want to look for something else. Or maybe you're going to change. You're the one who wants to change. There's something about you that you want to improve in order to improve your relationship or in order to improve your career because you have your ruler in Gemini. Okay? Um, but it could also be at home because of the full moon in your fourth house. So maybe there's something about your relationship. You see, you have this opposition energy. You have energy in your 10th house, you know, and then you have energy in your fourth house. We have Saturn in your fourth house, and you have the full moon in your fourth house. The 10 and the fourth house are opposite energy, okay? So there, it's like, you know, it's actually, it's Cancer and Capricorn, so they're opposite. So I feel that some of you will be going in a direction, depending, it's, it's up to you, it's a card zero, you'll choose. Are you going to choose family? Are you going to focus on, on career? Are you going to do both? But I'm going to end this reading here for you, my Virgos. Let me know how this resonated with you. Leave me comments. Until next week, send you lots of kisses. I love you.